I was coming on at one o'clock and we said we'd cope with anything except for an aortic aneurysm and when the registrar rang and said we've got an aortic aneurysm coming in and we said pull the other one you know and we realized that all the instruments and everything was coming up on a lorry after five o'clock so one of the sisters went down and got a trolley a, a tray with some stuff on and we started and then people had rushed back to the old road get something else but uh, yes it was a bit hectic coming on at one o'clock like that ITU was already here so they took the patient into ITU and then it came to theatre but it was a bit hectic we were a close-knit uh, family down at the Old Royal and we came up from two theatres to eight and then ten so that was but yes it was nice there was no cockroaches running around and things like that but there wasn't infection control like there is now so it was absolutely super hectic that first afternoon it took a bit getting used to but it was lovely coming up here and seeing all the new place patients were happy you know they weren't going around the old place and uh, yeah it was very nice I was on duty on the day yes because I started down at the old road then we all moved up it was just the ambulances moving everyone up and it was just a happy experience actually everyone got together and everyone was happy and was getting the beds ready and so it was just just a big family working together it was frightening. No one knew where anything was because at the old Royal everything was together. We came up here, where's the kitchen, where's the change rooms. You all used to go down to the change rooms, couldn't work his way back up to the ward. So it was just really funny trying to work his way. But after a week we all got used to where we was going. Then all new members of staff came in from other hospitals and we all sort of got to know each other and we all settled in well. Uh, it was a very busy day. I worked in outpatients in Marsden Street Clinic and I moved up here to work in Sweets, who was staff nurse in paediatrics. Uh, this all seemed very spacious, very light, obviously very new, uh, very busy. It was moving equipment up. We didn't have clinics for the first two or three weeks to try and get set up. So, yeah. I thought it was a smooth move. For us it was, I'm not sure about the world. <laughs> We didn't have patients to move and beds to move, etc. But and our clinics were cancelled for the first few weeks, so ours was moving equipment, setting up rooms, etc. So for us, it was quite a smooth move, and it was the first time we'd had a paediatric clinic on its own. For lots of staff, it was quite emotional because they'd been at the old road for a long time. I hadn't been there as long as lots of lots of people, so for me, it was a new start, new beginning, and a nice. Nice new building, nice new area to work, and I think that was the main, main interest for everyone. 30 years later, yes, <laughs> I'm still here. Yes. We came up about two months before we were managing two switchboards, and all there was during the day was um, commissioning people. But out of hours when we were here, there were just security, it was on security on site, and that was it. Very eerie, yeah. But it was the only way they could do the switchboard. They moved uh, one part up here and would just control Walton, uh, first of all, and then they all moved up on the day. Well, it was completely, um, everything was totally new. It was like one day you knew your job, and then the next day you came up and you didn't know your job. You, know, you didn't know the numbers, you didn't know anything. Um, it was just, yeah, that's not what it was like. And of course, it was a travelling, because when you worked in town, it was so simple. Everybody, nobody came in the car, so they just caught the bus in. It was a very emotional day, the day they shut the Royal. Yeah, very emotional. It was such a, a nice old friendly place. And then you I mean, uh, what we thought at this time was a massive big new building, which is, was nowhere near what it is now. Yeah, it was very emotional, just shutting everything down, just saying, right, that's it, done. Yeah, so.
came back to work in April of 1984. I mean, I, I had my daughter in the October of 83. I was a waterster at the Old Royal. And I started the first Stoma Care Nursing Service at this hospital in 1984. So this year I'm celebrating 30 years of the Stoma Care Service as well as the 30 years of the hospital. I can remember coming to have a look round here and I couldn't believe it. I mean, they took us into um, the old Hollywell, which is the, where the theatre admissions unit is. And you couldn't believe that there was a day case unit that looked so modern and what appeared to be, well at the time was fantastic, it was purpose built and it, it, it was it was marvellous. There were a lot of problems at the Old Royal in the sense that, you know, the, the, the windows let the wind in and, you know, it, if it rained, it, it, there was water in different places and there, it was, so it's not, people sometimes look on the, oh it was better, it wasn't better. But this was fantastic compared to the Old Royal.